in today's video, I'm going to show you for how to camouflage a bison tube that starts off looking like this into something that looks like this. The first thing we need to do is we need to take the split ring off. The reason we take the split ring off is because they're shiny, they're hard to paint, and any paint that you do put on it will come off. Not to mention this little split ring isn't usually enough to hang it on a branch. Next, we're going to take it apart and we're going to take the O-ring off. The O-ring is what makes the bison tube waterproof. So we're going to make sure that we protect that because we want to keep the inside waterproof. So now we have two halves. We're going to reassemble the halves, but we're going to leave a gap. The reason we leave the gap, I'll show you why in a minute. So what we're going to use to camouflage the bison tube is we're going to use some camel tape. I like this tape because it's cloth. It doesn't rot. It's not waterproof, but it's water friendly. It even looks a little bit better when it's wet. So all we're going to need is three little pieces. We're going to need a bottom, a top, and a piece for the body. So we don't need a lot of tape, we just need a little bit. So we're going to take our first piece, and we're going to apply it to the top. But before we apply it, we're going to put it on the top, and then we're going to pinch where the holes are, so we have a good idea of where we need to poke a hole for fastening later. Now we close this down just like we would normally. We're going to do the same thing on the bottom. Don't worry if you have irregular shapes or anything like that. That's actually going to help. Those irregular shapes are going to make the outline less obvious. We're going to take our tape the body. I want to wrap that around. Now at this point we wouldn't be able to get into our bison tube because it's been sealed. So what we're going to do is we're going to split the tape now so that we can get inside. The way we do that is we find the gap that we left previously. We rub something hard until we can find the gap. So there's the gap right there. We're going to take a utility knife and we're going to cut that gap. Be very careful with the utility knife. They're very sharp. Now you can see that we have the container apart. We're going to put our O-ring back on. And once again, the container is watertight. So now what we have to do is we need to poke a hole so that we can attach our hook. So in this case, I'm going to use some wire, and normally this wire is thin and flexible. I like mine to be a little bit sturdier, so what I've done is I've doubled it up. You can also use a sturdier metal to create your hook. So now we feed what's going to be our hook, we turn it over, 
couple times. We snip off the excess. We bend the top. And now we have a hook that will hang on a tree. And that's how we create a camouflage bison tube.